the show Friends, and I'm sorry if you have, they all got together, unemployed, underemployed, broke as shit, eating off the state and the government, and they all gathered at this overpriced cappuccino place called Central Perk, where Legos is actually just released a buildable set of Legos Friends Central Perk. And it's got the couch, Joey, and Phoebe, and the guy who says he invented sarcasm, Courtney Cox, and all that jazz. The cheapest you can find it is $100. Friends and Legos, I don't see those two groups going together. Vegans and pig roast. I don't see those two mixing. It's to me, that's like a dog sh coleslaw. I don't see the two mixing. First of all, the show Friends was terrible. It's another show with canned laughter filmed in front of a live studio audience that has no personality. Living in a, a rent-controlled loft that's like 3,000 square feet in midtown Manhattan, rent-controlled, with people just coming in and out as they should with all that furniture. The show was completely inaccurate. To get a loft like that right now, in New York City would probably run you in the millions of dollars. 2,000 square foot apartment in Manhattan, $2.495 million. Three bedroom, three bathroom, 2,000 square foot condo. How the f do three get to, own, get to run that 2,000 square foot rent controlled apartment when usually one or two of them was unemployed and yet and the other friends were living right across the way in a 900 square foot apartment where whoa Joey and oh, Chandler were living before they decided to bang the neighbors. I had no idea what they were paying, but that rent controlled loft apartment back in what 1995, I think, was when Friends came out. Here's the thing: they these central pricks. We're living in a 2,000, 3,000 square foot apartment for, that was rent controlled. And yet at the same time, Jerry Seinfeld is stuck in a seven, 800 square foot apartment in Brooklyn, a place that gets broken into frequently on the show because Kramer forgets to lock the door and half the time leaves it open. So Jerry, who is a traveling comic that does shows and pilots and stuff, he's stuck living in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. but gets a rent-controlled apartment that for God knows what, Section 8, who knows, and they're ha they're unemployed half the time. And yet, they're blowing all their rent money when they're freaking unemployed at the Central Perk. Do you have any idea how much a f a coffee costs in Midtown Manhattan? Such a crock of shit, where Jerry Seinfeld's out there making five, six, seven thousand dollars a month, touring the entire freaking United States, and da -da 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 Taking up something that only Donald Trump can afford, or Louis C.K. before he started masturbating in front of everybody, it took six of them to make you laugh. Whereas on Seinfeld, it only took one. And yet Netflix paid like a hundred million dollars to re-up its contract to keep that show. Despite all that, Legos has purchased the rights to turn friends into building blocks. Yet ruining another seven-year-old's childhood. With all the problems in the world, with all the tra tragedies and everything that's going on, the biggest tragedy ever in my lifetime is the fact that they turn show friends into a f Legos. Cause you're there for me.